It's a special day for nearly a million men and women in Iraq's army, federal police, counter-terrorism and other security forces. They're casting their ballots for the first time since securing victories against ISIL. A great achievement for a force which collapsed when ISIL fighters first advanced. All security forces are participating to support the political process and we won't pressure any soldiers about their choice of candidates. Security is tight. Intelligence reports say ISIL sleeper cells might be planning coordinated attacks. That doesn't deter Karar Salem from coming out to vote. The bigger fight than the one against ISIL is these elections. A lot of people say to us there's no point in voting, but we've still come to use our vote. But an important fighting force which fought ISIL is missing from Thursday's vote. While members of Iraq's security forces are voting, tens of thousands of fighters from the Shia militia, also known as popular mobilization units, are not. They will be voting with the Iraqi general public come Saturday. Most of the militias are trained and supported by Iran, and they share the Shia religious ideology. The teams of fighters, which began as armed extensions of political groups, became instrumental in holding the front lines in pushing back ISIL. In 2014, Iraq's highest religious leader, Ayatollah Ali Sistani, issued a decree calling on volunteers to join the fight against ISIL. They now want a voice in the parliament. <laughs> Armed factions have been merged under the military establishment, but still a large section follows their spiritual or ideological leader, and they think their accomplishments in battles can be translated into the political arena as well. Iraqi fighting forces with widely differing views came together to fight a common enemy. One of the challenges for the incoming government will be to represent their competing interests as they continue to defend Iraq. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.